Hi, this is Playmobello and this is the cemetery with the mausoleum. This is Playmobil Scooby-Doo set 70362 from the year 2020. And he comes with Alice May that goes back there. It's Scooby-Doo. There's Daphne and Fred. There's no Shaggy and there's no Velma. There are rocks you can flip around. There's plants, there's tombstones right there. Bats, flying bats. There's a gargoyle over here. I love this gargoyle. It comes with a net to catch your ghosts, your fake ghosts, I guess, because it's Scooby-Doo. If you turn around this way, you can actually play inside the mausoleum. Every single one of these little tree branches you can hold on with the hands of a Playmobil. Just like so, let's say Shaggy that does not come with a set. He's trying to hide from a ghost, so he climbs up the tree, and now he's just up there. Each set I reviewed previously, the Shaggy with Scooby comes with an average looking Scooby-Doo. Then there was that haunted dinner table. It came with the Scooby-Doo chef hat. Top hat for the cemetery. He's supposed to be a grave digger. And if you look at the little manual or the box of these sets, you have all these different Scooby-Doo's that come with each different set. So we got the top hat, we got the chef, and there will be several others that you have to collect to complete your collection of Scooby-Doo hats. Also, each manual from the Scooby-Doo set here shows a little story of each character. You have Scooby-Doo, Alice May, the ghost is the disguise of Alice May, an agent of Mr. E who posed as a high school student to trap Fred. So there's Alice May. Then you have Daphne and you have Fred. All right, so let's say Daphne, Fred, and Scooby. They're all here checking this gravestone. They're investigating something. They're trying to find a ghost, a ghost from the cemetery, Alice May. And accidentally, they touch this lamp here. And uh, what happens? A skeleton comes flying through. You push it down and you push the button and if you have this stop on it it just flies off real hard so let's try a different angle now i put scooby right in the middle i put fred and daphne here and they're looking at the grave scooby just found a donut there's a donut on this rock they're trying to lift that rock to find a clue you can play the skeletor gets up from the grave and they all put their hands up and they get scared and they stop running away in fear as the skeletor is back to life. So this is how it works. If you press here, it comes up and look at this. This thing is just a little platform that has two supports here. You put the hands of the skeleton to hold him in place. So when you push him up, he stays in there. He doesn't fly off. That means if you leave him loose, when you do it, he flies off. And... You can also just pose it like this, as if the Skeletor is coming out from the underground. And then when they get close or you buy, you just push it. And you can also just organize pieces of your Skeletor all around the cemetery here. You can also look for clues. You get your shovel here. The rock is moved. You found a donut under that rock. On the rock, you can also move it and remove it with your shovel. It is connected to this plot here. You can just use this net. You can capture your ghost with this net. So I don't know if this is meant to be like this, but the rubber material has this little thing here that you can hold on with the hands of a Playmobil. There's a little square, an opening in this. The handle that you can hold with your Playmobil. So if you put the handle inside, it holds the net in place. And look at that. She looks like she's been captured. Now that she's finally captured with the net, she cannot escape or attack them or cause any harm. They're going to unmask her like they do in the animation. You remove her hair and rotate her head 180 degrees. There you go. That's her face with the makeup wiped off. Turn around here. There is a mausoleum, a crypt with a tomb, a tomb made of marble or concrete, whatever you want to say it. It has a floor, a cool design to it, little leaves everywhere. There is a small space. Everything's tied up just like a crypt mausoleum. This side doesn't open. This side that has the bigger drawer does open. And there is nothing. Let's put the ghost lady inside. There she is. Let's close it. We open again. She's gone. I do not do any camera tricks. Let's close it again. And now she's back. Now she's gone. Now she's back. Now she's gone. Now she's back. If you notice, I'm doing something. When I close it, I push this drawer down. When I push it down, it holds her inside and now she's disappeared. I don't push it down, I close it and, and she's back again. If you push it down, you keep it in there. If you don't push it down, it just comes back with the whole drawer. You can make her hide inside that box and jump out and that would scare all the Scooby-Doo gang and they would just put their arms up just like in the animation and just run away in fear. Uh, where is the ghost lady? She was right here, Alice May. 
Oh, there she is, and she's holding a donut. Let's say Fred just arrived to the cemetery, and he decides to investigate the crypt. If you look here, there's a gargoyle, a suspicious gargoyle. Press it backwards, and two blades, razor blades, fall and close the door. You can play it's just collapsing, or you can play it's like a guillotine, and you can cut your head off. All right, Fred is by the door. I'm going to push the gargoyle. Boom, look at that, he's dead. Oh yeah, before I forget... This is the box. It's a large box. Look at that. This is the size of the box in relation to the gravestone. This is the side of the box where it shows all the accessories and characters you get with the set. This is the back of the box. It shows some of the features of the cemetery. Here are all the accessories you get with the set. You have that net. You have the gravestone. You have another gravestone, just a piece of uh, dirt that comes with flowers. If you remove the flowers, you can hold them with, with the hands of your Playmobil. Several bats, three flying bats, two bats are just sleeping. A top hat with that rubber piece that goes on the head, ears of the Scooby-Doo. A Scooby-Doo leash, support for his legs. Three donuts, two are green, one is chocolate glazed. A flashlight, Kalator, Fred, Daphne, Alice May, the ghost. A little purse for Daphne. A shovel, a newspaper, the ghost file. It says ghost girl. And there's her photo and some information. And this is what you should have if you have all those three sets I just reviewed. Plus the cemetery. You would have two Daphne's, two Shaggy's, three Scooby-Doo's, two Freds and one Velma. You also have a brand new ghost, the ghost girl Alice May, a cool ghost there, and a dinner table full of food, the mystery machine. Look at that. It's starting to look really awesome here. Lots of accessories, lots of food. 